Hello there, this is your trusty East European handyman and um, I will dismantle a slow juicer for you guys. This is a cheap slow juicer or what's left of it, I don't know. And I'll see what I find inside and uh, what can I use it for. So let's begin. It has a special screwdriver only for this one here. There you go, one. Uh, let's see. This is a Phillips head screw. Focus, focus, focus. Ah, it doesn't focus. Nah. One more. Okay, let's see. Nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Bad lighting. Okay. Uh, from my knowledge, this is a hand mixer engine, motor, gears, and everything. You can see the big gear right here, and this is a small one. I don't know if you can see it. And right in here is the contact you make when you start juicing you press on it this presses on the other one and it makes contact and the engine moves um, okay let's go a bit uh, forward let's dismantle it more and see what we find I would start with the engine Okay, hmm, interesting. So that's the big gear. When you press on it, this little thing right here presses on this contact. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. There you go. See? Makes contact and it starts moving the gears. So you can see the, the ratio of the gear, how small this one is. Uh, sorry the one that right there this one and how big this one is that's what gives it the slow the slowliness I know it, if that's a word if it's not I just invented it see nice okay let's uh, go a bit deeper All gone. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a go. Don't touch this with your bare hands. This is uh, high voltage right here. This one. So we're just, we're just gonna do this. Hmm. Scary. Something really weird is happening with this one. It doesn't want to move 
as it should. It just keeps switching the um, rotation forward and backwards. Or like, I, I don't know. Maybe if I... I don't want to fix it. I just want to see what's inside. Okay. Unplugged. That's interesting. How can I remove this gear? I can't. I can't remove this gear. Hmm. There has to be a way. Thirty thirty watts. Against the specs. 30 watts. That's that's huge for this little engine. That's not quite eco-friendly. I could get a bigger screwdriver. As in life, when things get tough, you just need a bigger tool. Okay. See? And it works. Bigger is better. Uh, tough little engine. Doesn't want to come out that easily. Okay. This is interesting. How can I show this to you? Okay, I know. One second. I think I did it. Yay. Okay, so we got rid of this part, which is the big gear. It seems to work just fine. I don't know why that this engine refuses to, to function properly. Ooh, it's filled of this transparent grease. Chinese thing. Okay. So it's a this is interesting. This is supposed to be a high power engine. The the um, uh, rotor is a uh, magnet. See? And the stator, it's actually a piece of iron that's inducted with magnetic energy from the coils. This could have some interesting applications. Uh, I'll, I'll think about what I can do with it and Maybe I'll make a video. As you can see, the back bearing is not that good. It's quite loose. So that could be one of the main reasons that this engine didn't work properly. So basically, this is what's supposed to be centered here. So it doesn't touch the, touches the iron on the sides. And when it's centered, it's supposed to rotate freely when we have current put to the coils that induct magnetic energy to this two sides right here. We'll give it a go, and I'm sure it's not going to work, but we'll just plug it in and see what happens. Mm. Oh, the coils are moving. Hmm. That's good. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this because this is high voltage right here. I think I use some pliers or something. If I would have any, gee. I think I'll just uh, make these two stick together, so I won't be uh, it won't be necessary to to touch them. How could I do this? What can I do? Hmm. Could I, could I could get this screw through? That that'll be a big plus. I can't do it. I'll just touch them by hand, see what happens. Maybe I'll blow a fuse in my house or something. So this is live wire, this one. It comes from the cord. And the others are... Okay, let's see. Ooh! It's alive! It's alive! But it touches the sides, and that's not good. It needs to be perfectly centered for it to be able to rotate, to get in a spinning motion. But that's impossible with this cheap plastic. Good. Okay. Unplug. And I declare it dead. There's not much that I can do. Maybe if I put it back in and force it to like this. And probably I can make it stay centered. Yeah, I think this might work. Let's see. I, I just doesn't want to stay. Give it a go. Still not good. Thirty watts. See, that's thirty watts of power. Aha. Okay, enough playing. Uh, so there's nothing that I can do with this. I can't fix it. It's it's, it's not wor worth it. This is like ten bucks or something to buy a new one so 
I think I'll just uh, hold on to this uh, little engine, see what I can do with it. Maybe like a small wind power turbine. I don't think so, but I'll see. It's too much slack in this bearing right here. I don't know if you can see. That's the end of the engine coming out. Like like this. See? And and, and it's it's wobbly and stuff. I, I it's nothing I can do. I need to change this whole plastic back with, to make the hole smaller for this bearing to stay um, a bit tighter there. And also here and where the shafts the shaft is going out. How can I do this? I need to flip this image. See here? That also acts as a, as a bearing, the plastic uh, here, the case, and also has a substantial amount of slack. So basically, there's nothing that I can do with this right now. Just to change the housing. But maybe I can, I don't know, make like a small spot welder. Ah, that's not enough energy. I know, I'll think about it and if I come up with something interesting, I'll uh, make a video and post it right here. So, I think that's, that's about it. I just need to clean this stuff up. Thank you guys for watching.